Yeah, that's right. I think by Sunday is a the urchin campsite and um, this is a dock site so we'll be setting up tent here for the night so here's the gang so today with me we have John hey, hey, hey. we have Arnold Kira. we have a new boy with us today and this is Anthony hello and the old salt Graham oh here he is hi folks <laughs> No, it is a nice language, eh? I'd like to be able to... We're thinking about going and doing some classes. You should. Yeah. Very good, I need to continue. Have you done I've, it, have you? I've done up to level four, and I've, got, I've just lost it. Good morning, everybody. So, look, it's not often that I have three tents um, out together, so let's take an opportunity to do a little bit of a review. So Anthony has just purchased this Katmandu Mondo um, I think he paid $180 for it on sale Side entry You could actually get two people in here if you needed to And uh, that puppy weighs in at uh, 1.7 kgs Now Graham and I got caught out on a Tararira's once And I made a decision that we'd buy a bivy tent just as an emergency and I purchased this Kiwi Solo tent this only weighs 1.5 kg sadly they don't make this anymore and it literally is a cocoon I've had this now for something like 12 years and uh, last night she absolutely poured out uh, consistently and uh, I think it was a bit of a baptism in fire for all of us with our tents. John, on the recommendation of my two and a half years of experience with the Pukeko, has himself purchased the Pukeko. What do you think, John? Top notch. Yeah, Top. So, so John and Graham stayed the night in here. Um, this is sold as a solo. Definitely room for two. As you heard, there's room for two. And this uh, was purchased by John for $170, I think it was. 180. It's a 2.1 kilogram, and uh, that's a dual pitch. So, yeah, that's all three tents. Okay, so we're heading uh, to the Urchin Trig initially, so we've got another two and a half hours ahead of us and then we're going up the Waipakahi River, so that's another three to four, so we've got a, we've got a good seven hour day ahead of us. This is the start of doing twice as many k's as anybody else. So this is called Horopito, it's, um, it's safe to eat. <laughs> um, I have been using it to have tea so I just pop that straight into my boiling hot water and it makes a really nice uh, heated tea so Horopito very safe very hot very hot to peppery, eat yeah. yeah very peppery Mm. This here is chocolate, this here is uh, a <laughs> special brew and made in New Zealand and it's Whitaker, so I thoroughly enjoy it and endorse it. It's Help me up the hill. And it's not as hot on it. <laughs> That's Arnold, he's sort of, he's a little bit urbanised. Um, hence why I need to take him out on this little trip to sort of teach him a few things. Oh, it's here, so she's, I'm not coming. Yeah, hey, yeah, so cool. Oh, cool. Yeah. It's a wolf. We plan to do the long trek along the summit. <laughs> 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 Jeez, oh, why are we don't want to hold you guys up, you're almost there. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good day, guys. Well, that was so well said. <laughs>
top of uh, Mount Hurchin, Mount Nahoe, Mount Ruapohu. We're heading off this way over to Waipakahi River. So we're at the intersection. Uh, we're going down to Waipakahi River. It's uh, Mount Motoriri. We'll be coming over that tomorrow. John, what are you doing? Thank you. 